Well, welcome back to this sustainable house, and this is a video on the uh, new homemade incubator. Today is actually uh, day zero for the um, incubator because I've actually put some eggs uh, into it today. So let me run through the outside of the incubator, and we'll open it up and have a look at the inside. Won't be able to keep it open for too long, simply because I do have the eggs in there. I don't want the temperature to drop too low. So as you can see, the incubator is a cabinet-style incubator. It's been made from a um, uh, an old fridge. This fridge was donated by someone from the Freecycle group here in Canberra and uh, that was really nice of them. The fridge actually died some time ago and was no longer cooling but it's perfect for our needs because it's very well insulated which means that I can keep it warm with very little bit of uh, very little energy. So to talk about the energy what we have here is we have a whole series of wires and cabling running around here. It looks like a bit of a mess and frankly it is, it needs to be tidied up a little bit but you can see here that we've, what we've done is we've put a hole in in, in, in the um, side of the fridge and that's just newspaper in there which has taken our wiring uh, through and into the fridge next to the hole, um, and that light on the screen is a little bit hard to see but this is a, a thermostat and it's currently set at uh, 36.8 degrees this thermostat's um, only got one uh, degree centigrade of accuracy in either direction so I want to set it a little bit lower than it needs to be so when it goes up it doesn't uh, get too hot for the um, uh, for the eggs. Now that has a power cord coming in and it has its this little, little black cord is the um, uh, thermostat probe that's actually inside the fridge and then what happens is the heat um, the heater inside the fridge which we'll come to in a second is connected in through here so this just switches on and off accordingly up on top of the fridge and I'll just turn you back on this way but up on top of the fridge here we have um, two uh, uh, thermometers which have their probes inside the fridge you can see that inside here is 21.7 or 21.4 depending on which one you're at and um, you can also see that the temperature inside the fridge, um, both in the egg trays and the hatching tray, which will make sense in a moment, are both at 37 and 37.4 respectively, which is pretty good. The other thing we have here is a um, energy monitor on it, and you can see here that I don't know if I get, try to get the right spot, about 33.7 um, kilowatt hours used. Now that's actually over about five and a half to six days now. So that means that it's using it about 0.6 kilowatt hours per day to run the entire incubator, which is frankly excellent. Now if we open it up, I'll run through this very quickly so that I don't uh, let too much of the heat out and affect the eggs. So if we open it up, you can see what we have in here. I'll come back to this one in a moment. Um, so what we have is we have a 20 watt hydroponic fan uh, running inside here. It's drawing um, air from the top and then pushing it down through the bottom here. That's circulating the air inside here so we get a fairly even distribution of, te of temperature inside and that uh, was visible from the um, thermometers earlier. At the top we have some water trays Now we've got two which are closed and two open. These are actually, um, these open trays are, are adding to the humidity inside here so they're keeping the air nice and humid and you can actually see condensation right across the top here. Further down, and as I said, I'll come back to this one in a second, we have three trays, and I'll turn you back on the side here so you can see a little bit better. Um, we have three trays here, um, one of which has eggs on it. Now, that's, they're our egg trays, so basically, eventually, I'll have another egg tray on here and another one below, and these are an, this is an automatic turner, and that holds the eggs and turns them very, very slowly, so the, um, as if they were under a hen who's turning the eggs quite regularly. Then further down we have this plastic box. Now this is actually a hatching tray and that's the probe for the hatching tray we saw, saw earlier. So what will happen is eggs take approximately 21 days to hatch. So these are at day zero, these were put in this morning. What they will do there is they will spend 18 days rocking back and forth in place and then at day 18 they come off the turner and they'll go into the plastic box just on the bottom there and then the chicks will hatch inside of that. That's the messy part. 
So uh, that's when you get bits, bits and pieces everywhere and it makes a hell of a mess. And if you don't clean it out fully, you know, with the heat, it starts to smell. I mean, that, that's a really messy bit. So this will allow me to take this whole tray out with the chicks, put them into the brooder, give this a really good scrubbing um, and a bit of water and get it nice and clean before it comes back in. If I just take that out of the way for a second, you can also see the way we've heated this. Um, and the way we've heated it is this stuff at the bottom here. This is actually a 28 watt uh, reptile heat mat. And um, I found that was a, enough. I tried putting in some higher wattage stuff earlier and um, I just found it just fried things. So the 28 watt heat mat does a really, really good job. So with the 28 watt heat mat going, and that's the bit that's plugged into the thermostat, the fan is 20 watts, so that's generating some heat as well, and that's pumping through um, all the time. And then, um, and that's maintaining the temperature in here about the 37 degrees, 37.5, 36.5, which is almost ideal for these eggs. So hopefully these guys will do very, very nicely. The other thing I've done in here is this temperature is also almost perfect for a whole range of other things, including yogurt. So what I've done in this case is I've um, put some um, commercial yogurt, had a little bit of commercial yogurt left, and I've put it in there with some uh, milk powder and some water and given it a good shake up. Now that's just gone into the, into the fridge and tomorrow evening, it's um, uh, Sunday evening now, tomorrow evening I'll bring that out and I should have some beautiful fresh yogurt um, created in here. The space is being used, it's not going to uh, affect the heat that much so it's great to use um, this incubator for multiple purposes. Now I better shut this door. So what we're planning, I'm planning on doing is as we move forward with the, um, with the incubator I'll come back and review how we're doing. At about day 7, day 7 to 10 I'll actually um, will candle some of those eggs and see how they're developing and then uh, and I'll do another video of that and tack it on to this one um, and then about um, day 16 or so we'll probably candle again and then um, of course we'll come back and check out the chicks afterwards the chicks in this case uh, these are eggs from um, my beautiful girls up up in the pen here and um, and these these chicks will all be raised um, for um, to be meat birds. So, well, anyway, I will leave this video here, and we'll update it as we move forward.